Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel. Any rain or snow does come to an end here early this morning, but Threat Tracker is going to stay in the orange due to the very windy conditions that we have today. We could have wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour in portions of eastern Iowa. But notice tomorrow for Thanksgiving, things will stay dry, so we're keeping Threat Tracker in the green. Uh, we're going to watch Friday pretty carefully because temperatures will be cool enough to where we could see a little bit of rain and snow. That should transi transition to all rain pretty quickly. So here's a look at the wind alerts across eastern Iowa. This mustard uh, shading or yellow shading, whatever color you want to call it, that's where we do have a high wind warning in effect. These are not issued very often. Uh, this is for wind gusts between 50 and 60 miles per hour. Wind advisory in the lighter shading that you see on your screen, that's where we could have 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. So with winds this strong, we think of it as kind of a, a weak or low end severe thunderstorm where we could get some damage. So keep that in mind. It's also going to make travel a little tricky, especially on those northbound and southbound lanes of the roadway. So just keep that in mind with those northwest winds today. I notice they remain pretty gusty, not only this morning, but through early to mid afternoon. That's when we could have those gusts up to 60 miles per hour. But notice as we head towards sunset, the wind does begin to calm down just a bit. We'll be less than 10 miles per hour here as we head late tonight into early tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, big travel day. If you're uh, traveling within the state, things are looking nice and quiet. But keep in mind, if you're traveling today, the farther north and west you go, that's where the issues will be on the roads due to all the snow that fell during the overnight hours. But our next area of low pressure is already getting to act together here tomorrow afternoon to our southwest. That area of rain and snow going to continue to track northeast as we head into Thursday evening and Thursday night. So Thursday night, we could see just a little bit of a rain and snow mixture. That could linger into early Friday morning, and then we'll see a few scattered showers here throughout the day Friday. Your better chance for rain going to come Friday night into Saturday. Notice we could have some locally heavy downpours as another strong area of low pressure moves through. It's going to keep the rain continuing into Saturday, and it will once again bring quite a bit of wind. Speaking of the wind, that is obviously going to be the big weather story today. Those winds will be sustained 20 to 40 miles per hour, gusting up to 60 miles per hour at times. Temperatures will generally be in the lower to upper 30s, and really these are probably going to hold steady or fall as we head throughout the day. Tonight we'll have a mostly clear sky. At least the sky will become mostly clear. Notice those winds. They die down quite a bit. Northwest, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures will be in the 20s. City by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City keeps temperatures in the 30s the next couple of days. So even though things are dry tomorrow, it will be a little bit on the chilly side, but we'll call it seasonally chilly as our average highs are in the upper 30s. Friday, that's where that rain does move in, and that will continue here through the day on Saturday. Notice we break out the breezy icons once again. There's going to be a lot of wind with this system. Any leftover moisture here on Sunday could be in the form of some light rain or some light snow with windy conditions.